Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk and today I'm just going to try and help you out a bit with Bootstrap. So some people have been asking me on my Bootstrap Studio video, um, how do the columns work? Because maybe they're new to Bootstrap or um, maybe they've been using it but they're just still not familiar with it. So I'm just going to get straight into it just to explain how the columns work with the different um, breakpoints. So let's do a new design, a blank page. Now, the first thing to note is we've got these uh, four different views. So we've got basically a mobile, so that is XS for the, the very small, so probably the mobile. SM, I'm not sure what the break size is. Oh yeah, that shows it there as 768. So we're going up here, 360, 768 pixels. Over here we're looking 1024 and 1200 and above. So if you hover over these, it says LG, MD, SM and XS. So um, when we're using the columns in, uh, in Bootstrap, it refers to these XS, SM, etc. So let's put some a grid layout on the page then. So let's go with a column, uh, let's do a row. This is an empty row. And this row we're going to have, um, on the biggest view, we're going to have four columns. So let's put a column in there. And then another column in there. Oops. We can do add column like this. So now we've got a row that's got four columns and if we go down here we can see this row and inside it it's got four columns there so the size of these columns at the moment it is um, the full width so we're basing this column on uh, 12 so you've got a grid which is 12 pieces wide so these individual columns are set to be 12 on this view and they're, they're set to be 12 on all of them. And you can achieve that by only having one setting, and that will be XS12. So let's have a look at the HTML. So it's actually got it as MD12, so it doesn't really make a difference on this because uh, there's no other setting as well. So that's based on the breakpoint. So if we look at this, we've got SM, MD, LG. So these are all set to MD12. So let's go to, let's say, when it's on the largest one, we want these to be um, three, three pieces wide, if you know what I mean. So based on a 12, a 12 column width, let's say each individual column is a width of three each. So I can do, it can use this to make it narrower or make it wider. So I'm clicking on a column and I can decrease that. So as I'm decreasing it, it's using the LG and it's applying this LG down here to say when it's in the LG um, screen size, make it at the moment call LG six, so half the screen. So I'm gonna reduce that down to three. I'm gonna do the same for these guys here. So now, those columns are, there are four on there, but if we go back to the other views, it's still 12. So if we want that to be different on the other ones, let's do that. So let's say on the MD size, at the moment it's set to 12, but I want the MD to be a width of four each, so there'll be three per one. So make narrower. If I wanted to, I could make the last one be the full width because I can apply these to the individual columns. So I can increase that back to make that take up 12 on that view. But on this view here, it's still, it's still the size of a three. And on the other views, uh, on that size view there, it goes down to, it, it takes the full width. So we can do it like that. 
Um, so let's say on the, the smallest view, we do want it to be 12. We think, yeah, that's appropriate for the smallest. But perhaps on the SM size, we want it to be a 6. So I can reduce that down. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. So that col SM6 is happening there. And then the same again. So now they'll fit nice and neatly in here. They'll all be col SM6s. So all that same content um, would be applied at different views. So let's just put something in here. Well, let's just preview this. I'll save it first. And then I'm going to uh, do a view. Is it? I've not used it for a while. Oh, here we go, preview. And so preview, enable that, open that in the browser. And at the moment, I don't think we'll see anything because we're dead, we didn't put anything in. So let's just close that and we'll just put some content in. So perhaps we want to put some text. So, or, or an image even. Let's put an image to go inside that one. And that image, you can choose an image. So I've not got any images ready for this. I might cancel that and instead of doing an image, I'll undo my changes using Control Z. I'll just put some text. So I'll go to Lorem Ipsum. Lorem Ipsum Net. And I'll just put some text in there. And so I want to put a paragraph in. So I'll grab that paragraph, put it into there, and then I can double click in that and I can edit the text in that paragraph. And I can do the same on these. And finally, this one here. And to make it um, a bit more visually, um, to appear better visually, what I can do is I can just apply some different styles to it. So for this one, I'm going to do an individual element style. So I'll do color red. So this is editing the CSS directly by going into styles and I can just click on this element style. So this is for this specific element. I can do color uh, green. Oh, uh, that's not applied for some reason on that one. Anyway, I'll just keep going. Oh yeah, it has applied on that one. So color blue. And then I'll do color purple. So now we've got this content at the different sizes. And you can see that with each of these four different breakpoints, it renders the content differently. So if we uh, go back to our preview now, we can see that in action there. So we can reduce the width of this down. And as the breakpoints happen, you see that floating through the different sizes. And that's how it works really with these columns. You can, um, you can add multiple rows. You can have as many columns as you want within a row, even if say, if that row is, there are four items in there that are three columns wide each. You could um, you could have many of the, in there. Maybe you could have. Let's see what I mean. I wonder if I can copy and paste this. Yeah, so I have. I pasted it out of it though. I think I can just copy copy that, and then I can paste it inside there. So I'll copy the red one. I'll copy the green one now. Uh, there, copy that and paste it inside there again. So now we've got another green, another blue and a purple I'll do. 
copy, paste inside, and then finally copy and paste that one inside. So now you can see that this one row has got all of these in it. And this should still work exactly the same. And then you see the difference on this one where the purple one sort of breaks it up. I didn't need to add extra rows. I can put as many of those columns as I want to. It just flows nicely inside it. But if you did want to, you could create separate rows. And maybe you put some extra padding on a row itself. Um, yeah, so that's really just to help you understand a bit more about the columns and how they work with Bootstrap. Using the example from Bootstrap Studio to create the markup for me. I mean, that was really quick. A lot of people say, oh, well, I already know how to write the code anyway. Um, but that's fair enough if you already know how to write it and you're quick at doing it. Whereas this did it for me. I didn't have to write any code here. It was all drag and drop. The only thing I typed in was the uh, colour for those different blocks. So that's this video really, just explaining about the columns. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please click on like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, feel free to comment and share with others. Uh, my last video, if you haven't seen it, what I did about Bootstrap Studio. It's had over 5,000 views now. So if you haven't watched it, please check it out. It just shows you some of the things that you can do with Bootstrap Studio. Um, it is a paid for product, but it's definitely worth it. I've paid for the lifetime upgrades on this one. So as Bootstrap evolves and they do further versions of this uh, software, I'll get those for free. Whereas there's another paid version that you can do, a different license, and that one is you pay for a year's worth of upgrades. Anyway, have a look and uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. And if you've got any requests of you want to know how to do something in Bootstrap Studio, maybe you're not, um, maybe you've not, used it before or you, you're not sure you want to ask me how to do it first before you pay for it you can either ask me and I'll try and do a video or you could ask in the forums I think there's a forum for um, this bootstrap studio product as well it's nothing to do with me I don't get any commission on it I just like to use it all right thanks for watching bye